Yo, what's going on, everybody? Charlie checking in. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, man. Power's out here in Maine. <laughs> Supposed to get like 40 mile an hour gust winds today. Um, uh, rain this evening. We got some got some uh, winter winter storms. I think headed on the way here. So uh, not sure exactly what I'm gonna be going out and doing this weekend. Um, could be dangerous for people driving. Um, but uh, but yeah yeah, one day at a time. Thinking about today today only so hopefully y'all enjoyed that investigation we had last night um if you hadn't checked it out go check it out man you know it's fun man i enjoyed it got to go to work came back read some good mail some bad mail and got to go out on an investigation so everything is great life is looking up and uh here it is i'm getting ready to uh start another day man so thank you all for joining me so much i love you all and uh let's see what we can get into today Oh, Dunkin' Donuts has power. We're gonna check out Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. I feel like a zombie or something like a, like like it's an oasis and this is a mirage. Donuts, donuts. Treat them for Christmas. Yes, they got it really festive in here. I remember we used to put our 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 names and stuff on this. We called it the Angel Oak Tree, and we'd always have. A, I'll tell you a story about that later. I'll uh, check it out. Football time. Is that what it's called? See, I'm rocking Boston today, though. All right, guys. I'm holding the camera where it's facing me because I don't really want to show too much of where I work at. I know, I realized I made a mistake yesterday, man, by filming really anywhere around where I work because you guys know that these people out here are crazy, man. So, um, uh, in the truck is fine, though. I figured out that in the truck is fine. Um, so, good. Taking me a break, hanging out, and, uh, yeah. Thinking about dad, man. Uh, I guess apparently, you know, he's not doing so well. You know, I got some messages this, this morning, and so I watched, you know, Michael's video, and you know, it said that dad is, you know, not well enough for camera, and uh, you know, it's kind of hurts. You know, I know it. Uh, he he he's, he's been looking bad as it is, you know. So, um, you know, when Michael said that, you know, that dad is gonna, you know, die from from this. You know, it, I mean, it, it, it kind of hit home, you know. And, uh, like, you know, y'all, like, I know a lot of people, y'all, y'all want to see dad and stuff, but I know that, that dad wants to be on camera, you know. I'm sure dad wants to be there and, and entertain you guys and stuff because he loves it, man. Y'all giving him, like, an extra 10 years on to his life. But, I mean, I don't want to see dad like that, you know. So, I mean, I know that me and Michael don't get along, but, I mean, if we don't want to show Dad like that, you know, I mean, that should kind of be kind of our choice, too. I mean, <laughs> you know, Dad's fucking stubborn as hell, man. <clears throat> he, yeah, so, <laughs> sometimes you do got to step in and say, hey, look, you know, love you, Dad, but, you know, you need to get better, you know, so, that's what it is. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully it won't be long, guys, but, you know, I just, you know, I just want to thank you myself for everyone being there and just loving, you know, <laughs> just loving the whole family, not just dad, but the whole family, and just, you know, <laughs> you guys get fiery, bro, you know, you guys care a lot, that means a lot to me, so, just wanted to take that little break and let you guys know that. All right, that's it, I'm done for the damn day, ha <laughs> uh, ha, so, Whatever else I got going on now, man. Goes quick. It goes by really, really quick. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Hey, man, I'm just, like I said, I'm so thankful and happy to have a job to be able to do this, man. You know, like I say, you know, I've been thinking about Dad and stuff. And, um, you know, last Christmas, man, you know, you know, Dad gave me the money for Skylar for her for her Christmas, you know, because I couldn't, I couldn't afford it. I wasn't making anything on YouTube yet, and I wasn't, wasn't working, you know, so... Dad actually helped me buy Skylar's Christmas, and uh, I want to thank you, Dad. You know, and it just feels so good to be able to, to do it myself this year. You know, it's it's amazing. Uh, it shows growth, and uh, and man, it helps me feel confident about you know the future. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Glad to be off. Woo! On to whatever else the adventure is next. I think we're going to get the Christmas tree. Going to get a Christmas tree. <laughs> that is so awesome. It's beginning to look a lot like. Oh, the over there. What's that? 
That's the F1. Oh, over that way? Ah, uh, no. What you're looking at over there is actually the uh, main news center that's called Long Creek now. It's for troubled kids. Oh, uh, shoot. But right over there is the F1. Oh, yeah. Fly me away. I'm going to take a trip. Where am I going to go? Guys, it's kind of a caution right there for you, man. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. I tell you, by the time that I rolled my van, uh, my Jeep, I had a Jimmy Blazer, <laughs> and I rolled that sucker, man, like four times up. And I wasn't wasted or nothing, man. I was late for work. I was going to pick up my cousin. He was staying with my dad. I was staying with my girlfriend. And I come around. I come around this dirt path, or I come. Around, it wasn't a path. It was a dirt road, but they had just scraped it, so it was real loose and silty up top. And I came around the corner and I felt it, you know, go, and, and it went. I had to wind it down and everything. I flipped like four times, four or five times up onto a freaking hill, and uh, thankfully it wasn't like that, no man. Hopefully everybody's We safe. are picking out a Christmas tree, and I wanted to show you guys, dude. Merry Christmas to the whole world, by the way. But look at these. Look. Oh, uh, it's only two bucks. I'm getting one. I got my tree, guys. What do y'all guys think? It's not a very bad tree after all. Two dollars. About this one. I kind of like this one. And then this one. I think I got my tree. All right, so I got my tree all. What do you think, baby? Now here's the real deals. Look at these babies. These are some pretty babies. I mean, if I can just cut back and show you guys, man, look, these are just some nice trees. Oh, uh, there's some more to babies. <laughs> look at this. How much is this one? Ah, uh, that one's eight dollars. Uh, uh. Okay, I'll Seven. A little more. I got mine now. All right. I'm losing, losing, losing. I'm losing the camera war, guys. I need to get a selfie stick where I can kind of just click, 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 click. Oh, crisp. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like that. Oh, Christmas tree. We gaze upon your beauty. I love it. And it smells so, mm, smells so good. Uh, unattended children will be given espresso, espresso and a free pick. All right, so we're just sitting here waiting on our pizza to get done. And I got a little curious. I had to open up one of my gifts, man. I figured <laughs> I've actually opened up all of the, uh, all of the envelopes here. They're all opened up. Uh, I'm just waiting to get home so I can open them. And uh, it's just take a little while, you know, to just sit here open them on camera and stuff. Um, but still, I'm going to read them to you guys. But I got a little curious and glad that I did because I opened this up and it's a tripod. <laughs> Let me show you guys here. It's from it says, uh, hi, Charlie, I wanted to send you something from Czech Republic, but it would, but it would take so damn long. So I got you this on Amazon. Hope it works fine. Love your videos. Happy life and Merry Christmas. Daniel Balik. <laughs> Much love to the Czech Republic. Charlie checking in for the Czech Republic. I'd love to, I'd love to say that one day. So check it out, man. This is a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> All right, anyway, so look at this, man. This is so much, seems a lot more durable than that last one I had. Uh, <laughs> I said it was a tripod, bipod, uh, whatever. So I've got me a new tripod now, guys. Things are going to be a little more steadier for me. And I want to give a very, 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 a very special thank you to Daniel, man. You were awesome. Um, uh, just thought of a couple shout outs I gotta do. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm, okay, okay. I know we're, we're rolling, we're rolling. Okay, good. I know one is my, my girl Jennifer Jopko, man. I was supposed to give her a birthday shout out. She's Her birthday is the day after mine, and I told her I'd give her a shout out, and I forgot, man. Damn, Jennifer. Love you right there. <clears throat> also, I wanted to give a shout out to my girl Kayla Sherry. Um, recent friends here. She, show, she sent me a link the other day. I, I'm, I'm going to look it up. I don't know why the hell I didn't just look it up real quick. Uh, 
Uh, hold on a second. Okay, <laughs> it's New Focus Wrestling out of Indiana, man. Uh, like I said, new friend of mine. Uh, she asked if I'd like to see a couple of links of her wrestling, so I'll go ahead and I'll share a couple of links of her of her match in, in the descriptions for you guys, man. She did a really good job, and I'm all about you know um, promoting other people and encouraging everyone to follow their dreams, man. Like like I say, I never thought that I'd be able to you know do what I do, man, and, and, and uh, enjoy so 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 much so so much good quality company with you guys. Um, that you know, uh, but here I am, you know, so it can happen for me, it can happen for anybody. All right, let's see here. Boom, look how easy that was with the new tripod. Thank you, Danny. You are the man, bro. I appreciate it so much, man. It's gonna help me out a lot. So, oh, forgot one thing. So anyway, <laughs> something else I want to show y'all here in a minute. Dave and Sue, they're in there doing the, the Christmas tree. Oh, man, I can't. I love the holidays so much. From, from Halloween up to Christmas, best time of the year ever. So, okay, let's do some cards. First comes from Sam Hellard, Mount Vernon, Kentucky. It says, Merry Christmas to you and ISO TV. <laughs> We've got some stuff planned for ISO, guys. We've been talking and... You guys are going to enjoy. You guys are going to benefit a lot from ISO TV here soon. May this, ho may this holy season bring the gift of happiness to you and yours. Your friend, Sam. Entered. Oh, by the way, all these cards and stuff, they're being entered into the giveaway. Yep, then there's going to be... When's the giveaway? Uh, next Saturday. Next Saturday is the giveaway. Next so Saturday, next, next Saturday, yeah. I'll have enough money. I'll be able to throw in on that dang, on that card, so... <laughs> Good deal. Elizabeth Wagner out of Columbia, Tennessee. Mm, all right. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, Charlie, I'm sending you some holiday cheer. I've been a big fan since day one. I've been down the same path with drugs and family issues. I was the black sheet of mine. I'm so happy to see that you're in a better spot in life. Keep up the great work and positivity. Much love and respect. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's, Elizabeth and Dylan. Back to both of you guys. You guys are amazing. I love y'all reaching out, man. It is so much love. And, you know, it really is, man. I, I, I enjoy the connection that we all have together. All right. My friend Rachel Linder. That's a good friend right here from Facebook for a long time. Out of Homeworth, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, not Cleveland. Just Ohio. Oh, bro, that almost reminds me. Dude, is this a... Uh... <laughs> this is fear and loathing, isn't it? This is a fear and loathing Christmas card. <laughs> as your consultant... <laughs> no, as your, as your attorney, I'd advise not to open this. Oh, what? Okay, guys, check it out. Mothman. Dude, look, the Mothman, Mothman Festival, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I don't know if y'all, and if y'all had seen this, uh, this cryptozoology uh, video, but um, uh, the, yeah, I'm big on the Mothman, so. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, I can't wait to go check out, I'm going to be in West Virginia to check out that Mothman shit, so. They have a convention, I'd love to see that. I uh, hope you have a great Xmas, stay clean, you can do it. I've been doing good, yeah. Here is my cool Mothman Festival sticker from 2015. Enjoy. Well, if there's another one, I will... I, wow, so you got this from the Mothman Festival. Okay. I will definitely cherish this, and hopefully I'll get another one and send it back to you. Merry Christmas from all, from Santa Chill. <laughs> I, thought we were, I thought we were already friends, Rachel. I don't know what happened. Maybe, yeah, if there was something that was going on, I unfriended a lot of people. I'm sorry about that. I'll add you back. I thought we were friends, Rachel. I'm sorry. I know you, though. I remember you, Rachel. And I love this. I love this. I love the card. <laughs> My taste all around. All right, next. Uh, Charlie Green, P.O. Box 81. Oh. Who is that, Sven? Not Sven. Was his name Sven? Sven was the... I don't know. I think this is Sven. Okay. Happy birthday. Have a blast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You are special. My, you are. 
and okay I'm gonna have to read this to myself here in a little bit who's this from anything can happen in your future be open to all CB who is CB okay I'm gonna have to read this afterwards to figure this out Real Jack, glad your life is becoming more pro pro prosperous compared to your father, father, because you're working towards that. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we all have enablers, you know, I've had an enabler myself, you know, so. Still, thank you very much for that, though, Real Jack. I appreciate that very much. <clears throat> All right, next, let's see. Miss Trina Hawks. I know Miss Trina Hawks. Wilmington, California. Be merry and bright. Dear Charlie, hope you have a merry and Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm happy that you're doing better. Live your life to the fullest. Truly, Trina Hawks from Facebook. You know I know you, Trina. Live your life to the fullest, baby. Mwah. Mwah. Merry and bright. May all your Christmases be bright. All right. Crystal Carney, my friend Crystal. And Crystal is actually from Somerville, just like me. Ladson. It's the best time of year to let you know how much I value and appreciate you to our friendship this Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas in Maine. While I'm here in Charleston, probably wearing shorts and a t-shirt. As with love, Crazy Crystal on YouTube. Crystal Carney, happy birthday, PS2. That's so awesome. And then this is for my eyes only, so I'll read this myself here in a little bit. Thank you, Crystal, so much. Mmm, it smells good. All right, last one from my friend, Corey Phillips. He sent me another one, and he sent me a bracelet. So, like that. Maybe I'll put this on my Christmas tree that I'm that I'm about to put up here in a little bit. Yeah, I got my little tree, so. Got the letter here. I'm going to read that in a little bit. And I appreciate it, Corey, man. You guys are so awesome, man. I really appreciate it, man. I'm reaching out. I'm just so happy. 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 I'm so happy. So happy and thankful. You guys should hear it, man, whenever I'm sitting there talking to people, man. Like, I hear people talking here in Maine and stuff, and they got that accent, and then you hear me. I'm like, man, I know they can tell that I'm just not from here. It's funny. <laughs> so, anyway, one more thing I want to show you guys. I love this Mothman sticker. One more thing I want to show you guys. Uh, the hate mail yesterday, right? So, I guess somebody uh, sent me a uh, coin co uh, thing about coin collecting or whatever. And, uh... And I gotta say, it was kind of interesting, man. And uh, these fell out of here. $4 in coins. I don't really know <laughs> if you knew that I was gonna get these. <laughs> but here is a 77 $1. Who is this? Uh, Eisenhower. Uh, here we have a Lyndon B. Johnson dollar piece. <laughs> With the Statue of Liberty on back. What's on here? We got the eagle on the back of the Lyndon B. Johnson. We've got. I remember. I remember when this came out. The uh, the, the Native American woman and her baby with the flying eagle on the back. And we also have a Susan B. Anthony, seventy nine Susan B. Anthony. So four dollars in coins here, you know. And uh, it was actually interesting, man. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start collecting coins now. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So some kind of kind of thought about. It. I read a book. I don't know. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but fucking, I'm gonna tell it anyway. <laughs> Nicholas Sparks, man, one of the best books I've read in a long time was Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> the movie. I guess it was I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even watch all the movie but uh, I read the book and in the book uh, the dear John uh, his father has Asperger's disease John doesn't know it and his father collects coins you know and, and he doesn't know how to interact with the world and stuff but he you know he, he looks at his coins and he's just in a whole world and he can tell you everything about him 
And uh, I'll, you know, I always thought about, you know, getting a couple of coins or whatever. And just by weird graces, you know what I mean? Somebody decides to send me co coin collecting crap, you know, as a hate joke. And uh, I'm blessed with a little uh, a little surprise and, um, and, man, and a newfound interest in coins. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start collecting coins and stuff. So thank you, uh, Mystery Hater right there. So we'll go ahead and leave it here. That's all I got for today. And, um... Let's get my little my little tree stood up. Hey, chicky chickies. Got y'all some food. Eat up, babies. <laughs> anyway, so I'm out here. Ooh, it's cold. It's raining. It's going to be snowing soon. And trying to find a place to put my Christmas tree. And I think I'm going to put it right here, right by right by the, the wolves' den. What do you think, man? I think I'm going to put my tree right there. I was thinking about the front, and then I was like, I don't know. Got, got some, got, I don't know. Got one going up in the front, no. All right, so we got one in the front, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here. So let's go ahead and dig a hole and get my tree Okay, going. so here we have it, my Christmas tree. Ooh. Ah. That was the thing we always did whenever we lit up a Christmas tree. It was kind of a, what was the thing? It was a Garfield Christmas where they lit the tree up, and they're like, ooh. Or maybe it was Charlie Brown. I can't remember, but uh, but yeah, lots of lots of good Christmas memories. I'm um, just happy. This is my first tree that I ever bought on my own. This one right here, guys. So it just feels really great, you know. Um, I like to say, you know, that uh, I've done a lot of bad in my life, man. There's no denying that. Um, there's only, only just to accept it and move on, you know. And I've done a lot of bad, but I feel like I'm doing some good in my life right now, you know. I think that I really feel like things are turning around for me, and I'm taking really positive steps in the right direction and um i'm just so thankful for it you know and like i know i've i know i've apologized before um and uh, i'll continue to apologize you know like uh like i was talking with david you know and uh like he said you know damn if he could if he can go back and he would apologize to his to his family his, his mom and dad a million times if he could and um and and I, you know, I feel the same way um i feel like I feel like that before, you know, whenever I apologize and stuff to my father, to my brother, my sisters, my whole family, friends that I've harmed, like I've meant it and I felt it, you know, but I wasn't in the right frame of mind to actually, uh, to maybe be apologizing like I should have. Whereas now I feel like I have, you know, I feel like I, just this past couple of weeks, man, I've been here almost a month now. And I feel like I've just grown almost a year, you know, I got a job. I've been looking it up. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, I got, I'm doing the math and stuff, and um, if every, everything's going right with job and, you know, YouTube helping out a little bit, I should be able to have a vehicle and driving by the end of February. So, <laughs> things are looking up. They're looking great. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, hopefully I want to show Dad that, 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 that I've done it. You know, I, I feel, I hate it so much. Like I said, Michael said earlier that, you know, that Dad, this is going to take Dad from us. And uh, it almost feels like I'm racing against the clock, you know. Um, part of me feels like maybe I've... I've, 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 waited, I've waited too long, you know, but another part of me says no, you know, damn, it's never too late to turn your life around and uh, show the ones that you love how much, you know, that, 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 they, that, that, you, that they mean to you and, uh, and just how great that you can do, you know, uh, not for just for them, but for yourself. So I'm holding on to that, guys. I really am. And uh, just thank you all for being here with me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here with you guys for tonight. I'm going to get my tree all set up. David and his wife's in there getting their tree set up. So I'm going to show you all guys that. And, uh, and I'll show you guys tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog. So thank you all for watching.